Thanks to mobile phones, games are everywhere. And for many, gaming is a gateway to a life online. I always loved video games. My dad introduced them to me when I was really young. He got a Super Nintendo. Uh, I don't even know how old I was, like before I could even remember it, and we've always had it, and then we would play games together as a family. I remember specifically the Jungle Book game, like we would play that on there a lot. I was by like 10 the best with a controller, so they would hand me the controller and they'd all be telling me what to do and I'd be playing and like that was like a nightly thing we'd do and we'd finish the game. At the age of 22, Shamin Qasim started streaming the game she played. That meant thousands of people could watch her play games like Fortnite. Dude, there's like nothing. Her online name is Life with Laughs. After that first stream, I needed to do the second stream. I loved it so much. So I streamed the next day and then the next day. What's happening right now? I was live talking to people. They could actually ask me things and I could tell them things and laugh and make jokes and see like direct response on like what they thought on what I said. And it's just really cool. It, it honestly reminded me a lot of playing games with my family where everybody's telling me what to do and what's going on. After streaming games for a few months, Kasim started streaming other things. She found inspiration from painter Bob Ross. So I'm like, you know, I'm gonna try to do this. And that, that first painting stream, I was actually crazy because I didn't expect it to be like so popular. How did you make that look so nice in one brushstroke, man? People like really, really loved it. Like so many gamers, Kasim started to experiment with different lifestyle content. All right, so I'm gonna probably start with the pause. Within a year, she had a career as a streamer. Her breakthrough stream was a 14-hour marathon in which she built and baked an 11-layer cake. I know that that stream really made an impact on a lot of people because when I asked them like what their favorite stream is or how they discovered me, a lot of people said like, I remember you were making this crazy cake, or that was my favorite one. Shamin streams five days a week, between four to six hours a day, from her San Francisco apartment. She streams everything, including games. It really depends on the streamer, but for someone like me who does a lot, such a big variety of content, if I'm doing a painting stream, my setup has to be different, my lighting has to be different for the painting. That's separate from just like turning on my computer and opening Fortnite, um, which sometimes I do that. The balance for content creators is so difficult. Knowing when to stop thinking about my stream and to start like thinking about maybe we should cook something for dinner. Whoa, thanks for the stream. Thank you for hanging out. It's part of everyone's life. If you think hard, you like playing games. Even if you think you don't. <laughs> There's a game that you like, I promise. Before smartphones, before the internet, before Silicon Valley, there was the video game. The role that was played by Atari, the role that was played by EA in developing Silicon Valley to what it is today, I think is immeasurable. I think Atari was responsible, particularly with Pong, for actually creating a vibrant video game industry. We really disrupted that market and changed it forevermore. Video gaming is bigger than Hollywood and is on its way to being the biggest entertainment industry in the world. Things that about gaming that are so special is that you don't have to be six feet five to be a professional. Your height doesn't matter, your weight doesn't matter, your gender doesn't matter, your where you live doesn't matter. Being in San Francisco and in the Bay Area is so fun because Everywhere else I would be like, I'm gonna make a living talking about video games on the internet. And people are like, what? Whereas here, they're like, okay, tell me more. Get, get me to believe you, and I like that. Mobile gaming, I think, will take over the world just because people don't see games as an isolated activity anymore. They see them as part of their lives. And even after 50 years of growth, the Bay Area remains the global engine for video game innovation. Games are everywhere now. They can be teaching tools. They can be tools for exploration of human abilities, human content. You think about 
the infancy that esports is in and we're just toddlers we're still kind of crawling it's not going to be that long before gaming has its own olympics for all phases of gaming all the genres of gaming if you look at the big hits most of them come from the bay area on the next bay area revelations from selling tapes out of a trunk that was dope. To getting hyphy on the streets, to finding success online. And then that's where we got Icy Girl. It's the independent spirit of Bay Area hip hop artists. This will rappers do. Hear from the artists who created their own sound. You gotta dig deep to make great art. Coming in April on Bay Area Revelations. Watch this full episode and past Bay Area Revelation shows on NBCBayArea.com slash revelations.